Welcome back to Ship to Shore. I'm your host, Lieutenant Ian McConaughey, here at the Navy Officers Community Outreach. And today, it is my pleasure to be here with Ensign Marcia Villavicencio, who is in California, right? How are you? Yes, I am in California. I'm in San Diego, California. Um, thanks for having me here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you, and I'm glad to have you. Um, so we want to talk a little bit about, obviously, about you, right? You're the focus right now. So um, where, did you, where did you grow up? Where are you from? I'm originally from Peru. This is why I have this accent. <laughs> then I moved to Miami. Um, I was there for high school. And then from there, I joined the Navy. What do you do in the Navy? So I'm an admin officer. I got commissioned about a year and a half ago. And I used to be awesome. a yeoman before that. So when you say, when you when you joined, like what, what was it like when you joined and where did you join? I joined when I was 19 out of Miami as an undesignated seaman. It, it was definitely like hard <laughs> at the beginning. And then I got used to it. And a lot of people thought I wasn't going to be able to do it because um, they, they thought I was too girly and this was a very tough job. But I proved them wrong and I'm still here. So <laughs> one of their greatest challenges, I believe it was when I was a, I became a gunner's mate after I was undesignated. Um, a lot of people, the same, they thought she, you will be the only female gunner's mate on the boat until we get another one. This is a really guys type job. So are you sure you're up for it? And I, I was, I was up for it. And then they gave me the 50 cal and I could not rack it back to save my life. I just could not do it. And I had a chief, my GMC, he told me straight up, like, if you cannot do this, I'm going to take you off the gun. Like you have to be able to rack it back and be able to shoot. So I don't know where I got the strength from. And one day, I think it was my last chance. And I just said, you know what? No, we're doing this. Like, I don't care how, what the trick is or what, how you have to position your hands. But I, and I just did it. And everybody was like, yay, so much fun. And um, after that, they're like, okay, yeah, you got, you got this obviously. So um, you're good to go. And after that, I think, uh, I believe I, took that gun and that was my gun for like the rest of the deployment. So that was a lot of fun <laughs> to be able to shoot that gun. So, you know, it was like my baby for a little while. So that was, that was, that was awesome. So my first fitness competition was actually in Guantanamo Bay, which is um, different, I guess, for, <laughs> for most people, not military, but for most people. They make sure when you're there, when you're deployed, that you have a lot of um, good outlets, good things to do, especially fitness related. They have so many fitness competitions, fitness events. It's awesome. That part of it, it's awesome. So I chose that I was going to do the bodybuilding competition, the fitness competition. So half of my deployment, I just trained and dieted and did every, and I got an online coach actually to be able to compete. And I ended up at second place. It was so much fun. It was such a hard thing to do on deployment because you have, you know, you don't have a kitchen to use. You're in this little room and you only have your microwave. So you have to get really, really creative <laughs> um, in order to prep some of your meals. Make sure when you go to the galley, choose certain things that are going to go according to your goals. And then some people go out and uh, they eat, you know, other stuff and they're like, oh, they're having a brunch today. And I was like, no, I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepping for this competition. Oh, but it was so rewarding to be able to do, I, I believe it was 10 weeks, to prep for 10 weeks and to get on stage and do the competition. And then a month after that, I actually decided I'm going to do the powerlifting competition as well. <laughs> and then I'm going to run a half marathon on top of that. Ah. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> so the advice I would give someone that would want to join the Navy or wants to be a Naval officer would be to talk to other people that are already in the Navy. I joined undesignated because I had no idea uh, anything about the Navy. I didn't know anybody who had already joined. 
So I was under the impression that I joined undesignated and then I'll be able to switch rates right away. And that was not the case. It took a little while. It took a lot of hard work, a lot of studying. So definitely talk to someone that's already in that position. I think that goes for anything. If you want to do something that someone has already accomplished, some, some, you know, something, someone's already there, talk to that person because most of the time they're going to want to talk to you and tell you, Hey, like, I think this is what you should do. I've learned my lesson. You know, I've made some mistakes already, so I don't want you to make those mistakes. So I'll, you know, this would be their best route for you to do for you to take. So yeah.